Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to see how to determine whether or not two lines actually intersect each other in three-dimensional space. We're given the three parametric equations for each of the two lines. Now, how do we determine whether or not they intersect? Well, if two lines intersect, that means at some point in space, the x, the y, and the z must be equal to one another, which means that the x of the first line equals the x of the second line, the y of the first line equals the y of the second line, and the z of the first line equals the z of the second line, which means that 1 plus 2t must equal minus 1 plus s, and 3t must equal 4 plus s, and 2 minus t must equal 1 plus 3s, all at the same time. Which means we're going to take two of these equations, solve them simultaneously, get a value for t and s, and then plug that into the third equation to see if that still holds true. If it does, then the two lines intersect one another. Let's start with these two equations right here. Notice I can solve this for s, bringing the negative one over. We get 2 plus 2t is equal to s. And solving this equation for s, I can say that 3t minus 4 equals s. If I now combine these two equations, I can now say that 2 plus 2t equals 3t minus 4, and I can solve this equation for t. Moving everything over to one side, the t is on the right side, and the 4 over here, I get 2 plus 4 is 6 equals 2t subtract from 3t gives me t. So I have a value for t. I plug that into one of my other equations. Let's see here. Um, let's try this one right here because I have s in terms of t. Bringing this one down here, I can write 2 plus 2 times t, which is equal to 6, is equal to s. That's 12 plus 2 is 14. s equals 14. Here I have the, the situation where using the first two equations, I solve for t and I solve for s. I have two values. I plug those now into my third equation. If that equation is satisfied by plugging these two values in, then I know that those two lines intersect. I take 2 minus t is equal to 1 plus 3s. For t, I plug in 6. 2 minus 6 is equal to question mark 1 plus 3 times 14. And it doesn't look like it does because 2 minus 6 is minus 4, which is not equal to, that is, uh, 42 plus 1, 43. So therefore, I can conclude, since I couldn't find the value for t and s that satisfies all three equations at the same time, I know that those two lines do not intersect at a single point in space. And that's how that's done.